Okay, so let me go into the storage account. You can see there is no storage account at the moment, so let's create it. And I will create a new resource group for this and I will name it as RG storage. Oops, let me put it correctly. Okay, it's not. Let me do RDS, RGST, that's fine. You can name anything. And let me give it a name. I will do AVD storage. It has to be unique, so I'll give some number. Mm, let's give one, two, three, nine. Hopefully I will, okay, that's fine. And I'll create it in the East US. Uh, let's go with standard performance, that's fine. And redundancy, I will choose, just for the demo purpose, I'm going to use the LRS. Okay, networking, I'll leave everything as it is and I'll go to Review and create, it's running the validation. Passed and let's create it. It will take, I think, a moment to create and then we will create a file share into this storage account. Okay, so you can see my storage account has been created, which is AVD storage 1239. And now let's go into it and I will create a file share. Let me name it as AVDFS, which, and the tier, let me use the transaction optimized as well. That's fine. Let me create it. All right. So you can see this, my file share is ready as well. And now we need to integrate our storage account to our virtual machine domain controller. So we are going to use some PowerShell script. So let me get ready for that. Okay, so I'm in my domain controller here. So I'll show you my Active Directory. So what I've done is I've created one of the OU here and named it as storage. So when we integrate our storage account um, I will join that storage account on this OU so that should appear over here okay so for integration I'm going to use the Microsoft documentation and this guide is giving step-by-step -step process how to integrate your or your storage account so the first thing we need to do is we need to download and unzip AZ file hybrid module. So let me do that first. I'm just following up the Microsoft documentation. So let me download this. Let me save it somewhere. Okay, that's done. So let me extract everything here. Okay, so this has been extracted. Okay, so let me now open the PowerShell. I will open PowerShell ISC as admin. And first thing we need to do is we need to go into this path in the PowerShell. So let me do that first. Okay. I'm into that path and then we will start doing this commands. So let me do the first one, which is change execution policy. I'll just copy it here. Um, okay, let me just paste here as well. And then enter. I'll go yes to all. Yep. And 
then I will go for the second command which is copy to PS1 okay run once okay, that should be done right, the third one is importing AZ file hybrid module let me do that Yes to all. Okay, that's running and showing completed. It will take a moment. Okay, so you can see the successfully installed. Okay, so the next command we have to use is connect AZ account. Let me do that. One. And I will choose my subscription account. Let me do that. Yep, so you can see it's giving me all the details. Now the next command is select AZ subscription. So I need to get my subscription ID. So let me do that first. Okay, the last command we have to use is to join the storage account. So uh, for the authentication, so we have already created the OU storage. So the command which we need to use is join storage account for auth. The resource group I have given is RGST for the storage account. Storage account name and domain account is computer account and organizational unit name is storage. And that's my domain. So let me run that one. I'll copy that. Okay, let's see. Okay, so you can see that command is succeeded. I can see uh, the provisioning state is succeeded. So let's go to the Active Directory. Let me refresh this. Oh, yep, you can see now that my storage account is integrated in my domain controller. So let's go back to our steps. So we have created storage account and file share, and also we have integrated the storage account to our domain controller. Now what we do is we will create some groups in domain controller and assign those roles in the file share. So the users which we have created will get access to the file share. 